that there is diversity in nature. That what is the meaning of definite human conduct and what is the meaning of conduct? And is it following the social and family norms? There is diversity, but every unit in nature has a definite conduct. For example, a tree is different from animal. So in that sense, there is diversity. But the tree has a definite conduct, like every tree you see will grow. So growth is something <coughs> which is definite in the tree. right? But animal has a definite conduct, a different conduct from the tree. Right? At the level of body, you can see that the, there is a growth in the body. But at the level of self, the animal has a will to live. So, there is diversity, but each of these have a definite conduct and that definite can, conduct can be identified. So, but when it comes to human being, that kind of definiteness is not, you know, exhibited. So, what we are saying is that with right understanding, the human being can also exhibit definite conduct. For example, with right understanding of relationship, right, the human being will exhibit a definite conduct in mutual relationship. For example, it will have a feeling of respect for others and not the feeling of disrespect. So, when I understand that what is naturally acceptable to me in relationship is the feeling of respect and not the feeling of disrespect. If I have this understanding, if I have this clarity, then I will have a feeling of respect for everyone. And if I have a feeling of respect for everyone, I will express that feeling of respect with everyone. In that sense, my conduct will become definite. So, nobody has to have a feeling of fear from me that I may disrespect him. So, out of my right understanding, I have this feeling of respect for everyone because I know what is naturally acceptable to me in relationship is feeling of <coughs> respect and not disrespect. Therefore, my conduct is definite that whenever I behave with others, I behave with a feeling of respect and not otherwise. So, this is going to be same for all human beings, right? the feeling of respect. In that sense, it is definite. It does not essentially mean that we conform to the family norms or the social norms, because it may not necessarily be the case that these family norms or the social norms, you know, have this clarity about relationship. For example, today we say respect the elders. What about youngers? Do we respect them or not? Right. So, there is a social norm that you respect elders. But if you really ask yourself, you will find that yes, the right answer would be respect everyone, because that is what is naturally acceptable in relationship. So, we are not saying confirm to social norms or confirm to your family norms. We are saying find out what is natural for you, the feeling of respect or disrespect, feeling of trust or distrust, mistrust, familiar or fam feeling of affection or feeling of jealousy. <coughs> Today, we are promoting jealousy in this society. What is that? Neighbors envy, owners pride. <coughs> That is the social norms, but is it naturally <coughs> acceptable to us? No. So, we can find out what is natural for us, what is not natural for us, right? And if we have that right understanding, then we will have definite feeling in relationship, like respect, trust, affection. And if we have that de definite feeling, we will live with that definite feeling with other. That is the meaning of definite conduct. Of course, when you have these feelings and when you go about expressing them, there may be different ways of explaining, expressing that feeling of respect. Right? I can say namaste to you with folded hand, I can touch your feet, okay, I can present you a bouquet, right? 
there are different ways of expressing the feeling of respect but one thing is very certain that i will have a feeling of respect for you right and i will behave with a feeling of respect in that sense it is certain it is definite yeah any other question definite not means that uh, is that have you have everybody has to follow some norm that otherwise it will bored yeah so we are not saying that everyone has to present a bouquet yes but of course everyone has to have a feeling of respect that you can ask yourself what would be naturally acceptable to you from anybody else feeling of respect or disrespect so do you want that certainty that everybody should behave with you with the feeling of respect or not so you want that certainty and that fear of inhuman behavior is because of this right because that certainty is not there you think that somebody may insult you somebody may cheat you instead of nurturing you he may exploit you so all these feelings if you really see you know you want definiteness you want care and not exploitation so that definition definiteness is desirable for you and for others <coughs> so as we go on we'll try to explore into each of these feelings in relationship and we will see that we want that definiteness not uncertainty there that incident that you were telling about gopal which one the chote bhai ne badi bhain ko thappad mara wala फादर ने छोटे भाई ने अच्छा 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 ओ या आई कीप रिकॉलिंग दिस इंसिडेंट इन आई विजिटेड वन ऑफ माय फ्रेंड फ्रेंड्स हाउस एंड वी रीच देयर इन द आफ्टरनून एंड दिस फादर हैड टू गो टू द ऑफिस सो ही सेड आई एम गोइंग टू द ऑफिस एंड यू बी यू नो टेक योर फूड एंड रेस्ट एंड ऑल सो वी हैड फूड एंड देन वी आर रेस्टिंग एंड देन टू ऑफ द चिल्ड्रन यू नो one boy and one you know girl they came back from the school and then they were talking something and then there was some you know fight okay, which is quite common you know. and this young boy you know he just slapped over the to the elder sister and then she was crying and this my friend's wife she said you tell them something you know i'm really fed up you know, every day this is happening so i asked this boy you know that vishu vishu was his name i said vishu do you want to make your sister unhappy he said no so i said when you you know fight with her or when you slap her does it make her happy or unhappy he said unhappy right so i said okay tell me one thing that if you want to make her happy and if you are making her unhappy right what do i you know kind of conclude about you right so he was silent you know. i said okay let me propose you know, the definition you know of a mad person right. i said a mad person is one who does not have a definite conduct he wants to do something he ends up doing something else right for example you know you want to make your sister happy you are making her unhappy right is it a definite conduct he said no so i said i'll give you another example to you know that when you give food to someone right and he starts throwing at other people right he will call him mad why because he is not exhibiting a definite conduct right this food is supposed to be eaten so instead of eating he starts throwing at others right he will call him a mad he said yes so i said now let look back at yourself you know that what do i conclude about you that do you have a definite conduct or indefinite conduct he said indefinite conduct right so are you sane or you are mad he said mad okay. young people when you ask they give you a very straight answer 
So all this was happening. Then evening when father came back, this boy went, this boy went running, you know, opened the door and he asked, father tell me, do you want to make me happy or unhappy? <laughs> so this father was taken by surprise. He said, I want to make you happy. He said, when you shout at me and you beat me, does it make me happy or unhappy? <laughs> he said, unhappy. Right? So before he entered the house, he gave all these arguments, right? which we had, you know, been discussing. And he made his father to say that, yes, I am mad. <laughs> right? But that is the way, we ta we are, the way it is. Right? That we don't exhibit this definite conduct. We want to exhibit the definite conduct, but we are not doing that. Because we are not very clear about it. So this man, he came in and he asked me, when are you going back? Right? <laughs> Because by the time he concluded that this is all because of some discussion that must have taken place. Right? But this is the way it is. And the child is so afraid of the parents. Right? He has almost concluded that these people can't rely. They can do anything. Right? Because you shout at them and you beat them, you know, without really explaining why you are doing it. Right? Like I was asking why, you know, the mothers particularly, why, when do you shout at the child? When you are, you know, uncomfortable with him or comfortable with him? Uncomfortable with him. Now, when you are uncomfortable with him and you are shouting at the child, the child is not able to correlate. So, does he think that you have a definite conduct or indefinite conduct? 